Hi guys, it's Katherine Schwarzenegger and for this week's episode of Ask Cat, I'm going to show you how to get this amazing gallery wall. I just moved into my apartment and I have this big wall space so I thought it would be cool to hang a gallery wall where we could incorporate a bunch of different pieces of artwork that I already own. So I decided to enlist the help of my friend and founder of Lulu in Georgia, Sarah, and she's offered some amazing prints that I'm going to be hanging up on this wall as well as some advice on teaching me how to hang a gallery wall. So to hang a gallery wall, you're going to need some supplies, and we have them all laid out here. You're going to need a hammer, a pencil, a level, wire, nails, painter's tape, so it doesn't take the paint off your walls, a tape measure, scissors, and some paper. So the first step in order to hang an amazing gallery wall is to find one to two large pieces to put on your wall. So you want to make sure with your largest piece that it's off-center so there's no true focal point on your gallery wall. So once you've gathered all your pieces, you're going to want to lay them out on the floor like I have my pieces here. So this gives you the ability to move them around until you like the way they're positioned. So here I can kind of move this. If I want this a little bit more off-center, I can move it here, move these around. One thing that you want to pay attention to is that your pieces are always an inch and a half to three inches apart from each other so they're not too close and kind of look overly clustered on the wall. One of the things I love about the idea of a gallery wall is being able to incorporate three-dimensional items. So here we have this really cute wishbone from Lulu in Georgia and also this sea urchin piece over there which is going to look really cool hanging on the wall. Another thing that you can see here when I've laid out all the artwork is that we have chosen to put different styles of frames in. So we have white frames, a little bit thicker frames, we have gold frames. This is a good idea to just kind of keep a variation in all the different pieces of artwork. So once you've come up with a layout for your gallery wall that you actually like, you're going to use some paper and trace each piece and then cut out each piece so you can put them on the wall before actually hanging them into your wall. So once you're done cutting out the trace of your image, you're gonna wanna flip the piece over and see where the nail is gonna go so you can mark that on the cutout. So for this one, it's gonna be hung right around here. So I'm gonna to wanna to trace this and then put a little dot where the nail is gonna be so you know when you're putting this up on the wall that that's where your nail's going. So this is what your gallery wall will look like once you've traced all your pieces and cut out the paper versions of them. Um, the great thing about this is if you don't like the way something looks, you can simply peel it off, re-stick it back on. This tape is great because it doesn't take off any of the paint on your wall. And you can just move things around until you're satisfied with your results. So now we're ready to hammer the pieces into the wall. So after you hang up your frame, you're going to want to take a level to make sure that it's not slanted at any point. So you just lay the level there and make sure the little bubble in the middle is centered and that means that your picture is perfectly leveled. When you hang your frame on the bottom part of your gallery wall, make sure that it's at least 6 to 12 inches above the highest point of your cushion of your couch. So here's the final result of the gallery wall. I absolutely love every single image on this gallery wall. Everything is so symbolic of me and my entire life. And I especially love the ones that are in the gold frames. These are part of the Lucky series that Sarah and I designed. And a portion of the proceeds will go to the ASPCA and they're available now on luluandgeorgia.com.